Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Thumma alhamdulillah, Alladhi hadana lihada, wa ma kunna linahtadiya lawla an hadana Allah. Alhamdulillah, nahmadahu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'gufiruh. ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونستنصره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله تعالى من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت ويميت ويحيي وهو حي لا يموت بيده الخير وهو على كل شيء قدير وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا وقائدنا وإمامنا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله أرسله الله تعالى رحمة للعالمين على فترة من الرسل وقلة من العلم فأدى الأمانة وبلغ الرسالة ونصح الأمة فجزاه الله خير ما جزى نبيا عن أمته أوصيكم يا عباد الله وإياي بتقوى الله وتزودوا فإن خير الزاد التقوى واتقوني يا أولي الألباب يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون ويقول الله عز وجل ومن يتق الله يجعل له مخرجا ويرزقه من حيث لا يحتسب ويقول سبحانه وتعالى شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان ويقول لن تنالوا البر حتى تنفقوا مما تحبون أما بعد all praises are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prism and we glorify him on this blessed day of Jumu'ah. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will guide us and keep us on the straight path and fill our hearts with iman in this blessed month of Ramadan and help us to continue to be close to him, to worship him in a way which is pleasing and acceptable to him. Today it's the third Jumu'ah for this month of Ramadan. And next week most probably would be the farewell Jumu'ah, the final Jumu'ah for this month of Ramadan because the following Friday uh, is expected to be Eid. So the third Jumu'ah already in this month, it is going by so quickly. And this is an occasion, a time for us to take stock of ourselves in this month of Ramadan. Where have we reached so far? The month came and before this month came upon us, there were many things we wanted to do. And so at this time of the month, the first half of the month has gone by. We are now in the second half of the month. An important question. What have we achieved so far? To take stock so that we can push ourselves a bit more in the few days that remain in this last half of the month. Because just as how the first half went by so quickly, the second half will go by just as quickly. A time to take stock. 
Sayyidina Umar used to remind himself and others, Hasibu, Qablan to Hasibu. Evaluate yourself, look at yourself, examine yourself. Yes, do muhasaba on yourself before that day comes when you will be evaluated and judged, the day of judgment. So a time for us to do that on this blessed day of Jum'ah. I also want to uh, extend a special welcome to our children, our students who are here with us today. They've started their summer vacation. And they've done well to come to the masjid today for Jum'ah. And I want to encourage parents to bring your children out every night for the remaining nights of Ramadan for the Tarabi program at 10.30 p.m. Let your children experience this wonderful Ramadan tradition of Tarawi. This midpoint of the month, it's also a time to remember some important events that took place in our history. We mentioned last week two great individuals that are remembered at the beginning of the month, Sayyidah Fatimah Zahra, her passing on the third of Ramadan, Sayyidah Khadija Al Kubra, her passing on the tenth of Ramadan. And the 15th of Ramadan, it's also an important occasion. The passing of, well, first of all, the coming into the world, the birth of Sayyidina Imam Hassan. Radiallahu anhu alayhi salam, the blessed grandson of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I mention this today because your connection to them, your love for them will take you closer to Allah and His Messenger. This is an important concept that you need to understand. Your love for these great personalities in Islam is a way for you to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the Prophet himself, alayhi salatu wa salam, taught the Muslims this when he mentioned in many authentic hadith about his sahabas and especially the Ahlul Bayt. Says, whoever loves, Fatima loves me. Whoever hates, Fatima hates me. Referring to his daughter, I say the Fatima to Zahra, to show the connection with them and its benefit. This is an important concept for us to understand. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and He does nothing without a plan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose to either cause these people to be born in Ramadan or to pass away in Ramadan to give us a time now and an opportunity to remember them because it's a way to connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so the 15 the coming of Sayyidina Imam Hassan this great leader of the Ummah and the Prophet sallallahu says say al Hassan wal Hussein are the leaders of the young people of Jannah Sayyidu Shabab Ahlul Jannah. Our connection with them. There is also a great personality from among the women believers who passed away on the 15th of Ramadan. A Sayyid al Nafisa, a Tahira. And especially for Egyptians, she's a very important personality because her maqam is still in Cairo. And she is visited even up to this day, 14 centuries almost after. The great granddaughter, granddaughter of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Once again, a great personality that we remember today. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us an important principle. فَخَلَفَ مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ خَلْفٌ Look at what you leave after you go from this dunya. Look at what you leave. We talk about, about them today, 14 centuries after. We talk about the good things they did. All these great personalities, the good things they did. So what do you want to leave? When you leave the dunya, what you want to leave behind? Think about this. And I tell you, the secret of leaving good things behind you and doing good things and taking good things with you is your connection to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Your connection to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Try to put in your heart today this love for the Prophet Alaihi Salatu Wasallam in this month of Ramadan. And through him, your connection with all good people and good things. Because this is a symbol of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The symbol of everything that is good in all of creation. So, Sayyidina Nafisa, you remember her? Also, one of the great personalities of our present day history passed during the 15th of Ramadan a few years ago in Mecca. Sayyid Muhammad al Maliki, a great individual, re regarded by his scholars as one of the reformers of this ummah. When you look at where he was, at the time he was, and what he did to respond to those who were attacking Sunni Islam and his defense for Sunni Islam in the, in the midst of the storm. And how, what he went through, and the great work he did that has turned the tide of the affairs of the Muslims in many parts of the world. Pastor on the 15th of Ramadan, Sheikh Muhammad Al Maliki, Al Hassani, also uh, from the descendant of Imam Hassan from the Ahlul Bayt. Subhanallah. So, this is a time for us to connect. A time to connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam divided this month into three parts. He says, Awalahu rahma wa awsatuhu maghfira wa akhiruhu al-hidku minan nar. The first part, first ten days, which we already passed by, a time to seek the mercy of Allah SWT, the time of mercy, days of mercy. The time we are in now, awsatuhu maghfira, a time to seek forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To turn to Allah, to connect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In these days, in these special moments of Ramadan, it's time of connection. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us something more about this connection with the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. Says, your connection with him brings forgiveness to you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran, well, when they wronged themselves, when they committed sins, if they had come to you and seek forgiveness of Allah and you seek forgiveness for them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive them if they came to you and seek forgiveness through you. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions this in the Quran. And so even up to this day, people would connect with the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. Great leaders and scholars of this ummah, they would go to Medina to sit down next to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam, Rawdat al-Sharifa, to connect with him, connect with him. And this connection is through salawat and to do the things that he did. Do the things that he did. Fill your lives with what he did. Ramadan is this great opportunity to connect with him. When you, when, when you break your fast in the evening and you make your dua and you take that date 
and you eat that date, you remember that this is exactly what the Prophet ﷺ did. He would break his fast with dates. So you do it with that feeling in your heart that yes, the Prophet ﷺ did this, I am doing this. Ya Allah, I thank you. Ya Allah, I thank you for honoring me to do something which the Prophet ﷺ did. Everything we do in Ramadan because of the Prophet Sallallahu what he taught us. Remember that and connect with him. Feel this connection in your heart. This is what you want to leave behind you. And when people remember you, they remember the good things you did because of your connection with the Prophet Sallallahu This connection gives life to lifeless things. As Ibn Atayla secondary says, Al Amalu Suwarun Kaimatun Wa Awahuha Wujudu Siril Ikhlasi Fiha. Yes. Actions like are like lifeless forms, dead. It's your connection to the Prophet Alayhi Salaam which imbue them with that sense of ikhlas of sincerity, give them life. Connection with the Prophet Alayhi Salaatu Wasalam. time of forgiveness tomorrow the 17 two things of many of the great things from our history I want to share with you another great personality passed away and she's remembered the the genius of this um Sayyida Aisha Binti Sadiq radiallahu anhu this great genius among the Sahabas with brilliance and intelligence beyond imagination. People including leading men among the Sahabas would go to her for guidance, to ask the questions of the deen all the time. And especially after the passing of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She passed with the 17th of Ramadan. And one of the ways of gaining closeness nearness a, a, kurb, a ruhi, spiritual nearness to these great personalities is to recite salams upon them assalamu alaikum ya sayyida fatima the zahra assalamu alaikum ya sayyida khadija assalamu alaikum ya imam hassan sayyidna assalamu alaikum ya sayyida khadija and so on recite this and feel this closeness to them and secondly recite salawat on their behalf you need allahumma salli ala sayyidina muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabi al-ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim taslima bi qadri azamati dhatika fi kulli waqtin wa heen subhanallah what an amazing salawat perpetual fi kulli waqtin wa heen recite this for them maybe 10 times 33 times 100 times whatever you want say yeah allah convey the blessings to them you would feel in your heart love for them. I tell you today, remember this. When you leave Juma today, write this down. Some way where you remember it. For you develop closeness to someone, recite salawat for them on their behalf. You'll see your heart will be filled with love for them. Your parents, your parents, if you don't feel closeness to them, if you don't feel love for them, Recite salawat on their behalf. Recite the salawat. Say, Ya Allah, convey the blessings to them. You would feel this love in your heart for them. And when you have love in your heart for them, you will do good things on their behalf. You will give sadaqah and charity on their behalf. You will make dua for them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevate you through your parents. Yes, one of the bab, one of the doors of opening in your life, in the dunya and in the akhirah, is your relationship with your parents. Remember this. Time of forgiveness. And the next, the next important great event which took place on the 17th of Ramadan, tomorrow is the occasion, is Ghazwatul Badr. Yawmul Furqan. Yawmul Furqan. Yawm al Takal Jama'an. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us this is the day. Of criterion the change the tide turn the tides of the fears of the Muslims 
the night before butter, a night like tonight. I want you to remember this. So hopefully, hopefully you have this feeling in your heart. You will spend tonight a week with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam is at Badr. They'd gone there. It was, it was in the midst of the summer in, in Arabia. Very hot. They're fasting. So the Sahabas are with the Prophet alayhi salatu wa They go there. They have their tents at Badr. That night before the next day is a battle. And the Quraysh are already there. And how, how did the Quraysh leave Mecca? Bataran wa ri'a'annas, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us. With arrogance and pride. They're so powerful. They put together the hugest, the, the, the largest army they can get. And they said, we will finish them off today. We're leaving Mecca. Going to Medina, finish them off. That's how they are. Subhanallah, the Prophet Alayhi Salatu is in his tent. He's praying to Allah. This is the night, the night before Badr. He's praying to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. He's crying. Ya Hayyu Ya Qayyum, Ya Hayyu Ya Qayyum, Ya Hayyu Ya Qayyum. The Prophet Alayhi Salatu is reciting this. And he's making dua to Allah. Ya Allah, you're the only one who can grant this victory. Ya Allah, look at the unbelievers, how they're behaving towards us, towards your deen. Ya Allah, we depend on you. Ya Allah, you're the only one who can protect us from them. Ya Allah, if you don't give us victory today, if you don't give us victory, what would happen to your deen? Who will worship you? The Prophet ﷺ is crying. Turn to Allah, begging for mercy. Ya Hayyu, Ya Qayyum, Ya Hayyu, Ya Qayyum. Bi rahmatika nastabith words that you should recite all the time. He's crying. Until finally Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq came, says, Kafa ya Rasulullah. Enough, ya, O Messenger of Allah. Allah has heard you. Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq, he saw the Prophet crying so much. He says, Enough, ya Rasulullah. Kafa. Allah has heard you. And the Prophet alayhi salatu salam, he stopped. And after a few moments, he turned around to Abu Bakr, Sayyidina Abu Bakr, he said, Ya Abu Bakr, I saw angels, an army of angels coming in the sky to join us. They are dressed with a torn piece of clothing similar to how you were when you came to the messenger of Allah to give everything you have for Allah and his messenger when the Prophet alayhi salatu had made that appeal to the Muslims the Sahabas to support support this army that's going out now. Sayyidina Abu Bakr, Sayyidina Umar came. Sayyidina Umar came. And he wanted to compete with Sayyidina Abu Bakr to do better than him. And the Prophet asked him, Ya Umar, what did you bring for Allah and his messenger? What did you leave for your family? Sayyidina Umar al Khattab said, Ya Rasulullah, I divided everything I own into half. And I brought half of it for Allah and his messenger and I left the other half for my family. Half of everything he owned. Imagine it, half of your wealth to give. And then Sayyidina Abu Bakr came. The Prophet asked him, Ya Abu Bakrin, what did you bring? For Allah and his messenger, what did you leave for your family? He said, Ya Rasulullah, I brought everything I owned for Allah and his messenger. I brought everything I own to give to Allah and His Messenger. The Prophet said, Ya Abu Bakr, what did you leave for your family? Sayyidina Abu Bakr said, Ya Rasulullah, I left Allah and His Messenger for my family.
these are the great personalities we are honored to be with, to be from among. Think about this honor that Allah has bestowed upon you, that you can be part of this ummah, the ummah of Rasulullah wasallam, the ummah of Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali, the ummah of the great Ahlul Bayt. What a great honor Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon us. Let us strive to live up to that honor that Allah has given to us. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to do that. Ameen, ameen, ameen. Akulu kawli hadha wa astaghfirullaha li wa lakum wa lisa'iril muslimin fa astaghfiruhu inna hu huwa al-ghafur rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa salatu wa salam ala sayyidina muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in wa ashhadu an la ilaha illa allahu wahdahu la sharika la wa ashhadu an sayyidina muhammadan abdullahi wa rasuluh amma ba'd. On this blessed day of Jumu'ah, we turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in dua to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us, to bless our children especially, to keep them on the straight path. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our spouses. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our parents, uh, grant them long life and life of Iman and Islam and help them to be the best Muslims. Let the, the best of their actions be the last of their actions before they leave this dunya. For those of our parents that have passed away, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have mercy and them to forgive them to bless them with jannah to save them from the punishment of the grave to save them from the punishment of the akhirah to save them from the punishment of jahannam and bless them with the genital free dogs we pray allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep all of us present here today in this masjid united in the dunya on iman and ihsan may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us safe and protect us from the trials and tribulations of of the dunya from the temptations of shaitan may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us on the straight path of islam and let us die on islam and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be with the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the day of judgment to be to drink from his noble hands from the hawda sharif on the day of judgment may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of us to be in genital fear of with the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam with the ahlul bayt with the sahabas with the awliya Amin, Amin, Amin. Yakul Allah Subhanahu wa Taala fi shayn al Habib baada wa dhabi Allah min al Shaytan al Rajim. Inna Allah wa Malaikatahu yusallun ala al Nabi. Ya ayyuh al Ladin amanu sallu alaihi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammadin kama salli taala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala ali Sayyidina Ibrahim. Inna ka Hamid Majid. Allahumma barik ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammadin kama barak taala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala ali Sayyidina Ibrahim. في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد ورضى الله عن ساداتنا أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعن الصحابة أجمعين وعن التابعين وعن التابعين وتابعيهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ورخنا الجنة مع الأبرار يا عزيز يا غفار يا رب العالمين إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء وال منكر والبغى يعيذكم لعلكم تذكرون وأقيم الصلاة إن الصلاة تنهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر ولا ذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون